your answer makes me feel really validated because one of the things we talked about was that a great principal has to be visionary. And the thing that I, we actually left it as the, the final pillar. And the reason we did that very explicitly is said, you cannot come into a new school and have a vision before you actually meet the people you're working with and who you serve and know your resources and what you actually have access to. And the vision shouldn't be dependent upon what one person because is implementing, it should be something that's created together. And yeah. that, so like a lot of times we want, we say we want these visionary leaders who go in have a vision for what they want, but then they don't know who they serve. And so that was why it was explicitly less. I, I saw, I don't know if you got a comment on that. Cause I saw you're pretty excited. I, I felt really validated with just your expression when I said it, that made me feel really Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Well, you know, because too, too often, you know, even as superintendents, uh, we, you know, we espouse that when we're looking for principals, we want a visionary leader. Yeah. Um, and, and we give that person the impression that, that it's incumbent upon them to go forth and cast said vision and, and life just magically happens on that campus. Yep. And then they come back to our office and explain how nothing is going the way they quote unquote envisioned it. Right. <laughs> and it's because their vision only included their perspective. Right. And 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 so when you when you say that, uh, you know, as a as a district level leader, we have to be mindful and and be careful about the things that we say and, and how we expect those things uh, to be operationalized. Um, but but like you mentioned, good principles understand you are just that mm -hmm. you, you don't teach all of the curriculum <laughs> you don't attend all of the classrooms uh you, you know you don't you don't make all of the decisions and so you have to bring those people to the table mm -hmm. and you have to ensure that what you see is a part of what they see and vice versa and then you collectively co-create you know this ecosystem that allows that environment to thrive and and what i will tell you Go to any school that's considered to be a great school hmm. in any circumstance, any city or state, despite all of the other things that pundits may talk to you about. And they'll tell you that their principal gets it and them. Right. And that's where it starts. So you'll, I think you'll, you'll like this analogy. I don't know if I mentioned this. I, I've, I know we're, I know I'm, I hate bringing up sports, but it's just, I know, I see a lot of things through that light. Um, I ref basketball, really high level basketball for a long time. And the thing, a great principal and a great referee, you don't notice them. That's what makes them typically what makes them great. That's if right. you keep noticing them, something's going wrong, right? If you keep oh. yelling at the ref, yeah. <laughs> the ref's, ref's not good, right? Yep, not good. Right. So it's the games that you don't notice the ref. And I, I feel there's, there's some connection there too, is that they, they put people in the position to play the game to the best of their abilities. Cool. And, and, and they kind of lead that too. Right. But sometimes the, the refs got to step in. Sometimes the principal's got to step in. Right. And, and make sure things are, you know, kind of going the way, but I, I, I always think about that, about how kind of, you know, when you're yelling at the ref, it's like, Oh, that's not a good ref. Right. If you keep yeah. noticing what's going on with them. Right. So, um, tell us a little bit about the year with Griffin Spalding. Like what's been some of the, the best things that have happened? Like what's something that you're really proud of that, you know, your people have done something that you've created anything when you think of, I, I, to be honest, yeah, I, I'm being selfish again. I just kind of like to hear about it because I just so many really wonderful people that. Well, I, I appreciate it. So I, I'll start with, um, you know, in Griffin Spalding, we, we set out, we strive to ensure that all of our students are able to read, write, speak, and solve grade level text and material in every classroom. With, with that as the backdrop, I'm excited about um, our student support division. You know, they they were just given the award to be uh, top district in the state of Georgia for innovative practices in supporting students, you know, both academically and social emotionally. Mm -hmm. uh, and what that means is that we're willing, we're willing to try and try again for students and staff. You know, um, that that's not to say that we have all of the answers. That's simply to say that when we don't have an answer, we're going to try and find one. And the things that we're trying to implement has been working for our people. 